Lila, do you see that tree out there? Yeah. How tall is it? I don't know. Well, how could you find out? Well, I could go to the top and drop a tape measure, but I think that would take too long. Well, why not do it with a pan of water? A pan of water? Yeah. How do you measure a tree with a pan of water? Well, come over here, I'll show you. I have it all drawn out for you. First, you have to find out something about triangles. Okay. Here's the tree. Yeah. Measure the height of the tree here on the drawing. Okay. That's 20 centimeters. Okay, so put 20 right there. Mm -hmm. Now measure the distance from the base of the tree to that point right there. Okay. That's 22. Mm -hmm. 20 also. 20 also. Okay, not 22. So they're both the same. Now notice, this was a tr right triangle, and here's another little right triangle. Same thing, exactly the same, except for their difference in size. So measure those two sides and put the numbers in there. Okay, that's five, and that's five. Okay, so put those two numbers in. Mm -hmm. So you see, if you stood down here and you sighted along here, and you sighted up to the top of the tree, and you were sure that that was a, the proper angle here, you could quickly tell by measuring from this distance to here what that distance is. You follow me? If yeah. this is the same and that's the same, then if you found those two, you'd be able to make the comparison. Well, you see that triangle just flipped around over here to the other side? Same yeah. sort of triangle, isn't it? Yeah. Now all we have to do is find the height of your eyes. The height of my eyes? Yes, come around over here. Okay. Now I'm in inches, feet and inches, because that's my long ruler. Four feet, two inches. Okay. So right, four feet, two inches right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now right four feet, two inches right there. Oh, I get it. If this distance is the same as this distance, then this distance is the same as this distance. Yes. And this is the height of the tree. Right. Now all we have to do is make sure that these two angles are the same. Now we could put a mirror down there because light as it would be going from the tree, would bounce up to your eye, and that would uh, guarantee that the angles are the same. But if you put a mirror down here, you're not sure that it's absolutely level, and it's got to be in order to make those angles the same. So that's where the pan of water comes in. Pan of water. Pan is painted black. If I put water in it, the top surface acts as a mirror. What, look in there, what do you see? Your head. Yes. Now, if instead that were the top of the tree, we'd have the two angles, wouldn't we? Yeah, from here to there to there. Right. Okay, so let's empty it out and go out and actually do it. Okay. You take the tray and the tape measure, okay. and I'll take the screwdriver. And, now, remember, this is going to be the important thing. We've got to make sure those angles are the same with that pan of water. Come on. So that's how you do it with a pan of water. You see the top of the tree in the water now, Lila? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now we've measured the distance from the center of the pan to the bottom of your feet, four feet, two inches. What's the height from there up to your eyes? Four feet, two inches. Okay, so how do we find the height of the tree? You take this the tape measure, and you take it from the dish all the way to the bottom of the tree. And, and that's, that's gonna the be same the length as the height of the tree. Okay, here you are. Let's try it. Okay, how tall is the tree? 26 feet, 3 inches. Is that the right answer? Well, Lala, when you make measurements like this as scientifically as you can, you have to do the same as scientists do. You have to be very accurate in figuring your angles and measuring your distances, and then you might want to do it two or three times to check it. So I have to ask you, is that the right answer? I think so. Okay, good.